Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 playoff match between Crimsonik and his Orcs and Malala Noose and his Skaven. Um, wait a minute, whoa. The Skaven don't have a wizard. Wow. The Skaven were really low TV, so I guess the Orcs have just cut enough to not give them a wizard. Oh my god, they've got 11 men. And they've got a goblin as one of them. That's crazy. In the booth with me is Fymir and Calcium. Hello. This is was cutting for the orcs. Eleven and one goblin. That. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty mad, isn't it? But it might well win them this match because you do not want this team to have a wizard. Like they've got two edge five and one's got two heads. Absolutely. Yeah, which is fine. Which is brutal, isn't it? Um, with a wizard that's like auto touchdown territory so yeah fully fully understand why the orcs have cut to avoid that happening yeah but it le I mean it leaves them vulnerable doesn't it with only 11 players and one's a goblin those the Skaven I don't see do they have a claw mighty blow no there's no claw for the rats so without any can openers on the Skaven team, it's not such a risk, is it? But you know, high rolling is a thing. Yeah, and I mean they can get at the goblin as well, can't they, to punch him so <laughs> like with all the movement. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's like it, it's a risk, but it, it, I think it will pay off. I mean maybe even maybe even the Skaven should have gone to eleven to get a wizard, because the wizard is just so devastating, isn't it? Like it's it's an auto touchdown. Then you've got the one turn attempt. Yeah, I I think because uh, the Skaven, it looks like they got they had twelve. Um, mm. It looks like a rookie Lino on the bench right now. So yeah, you'd, you'd be trimming that all day, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think <clears> so. <throat> I, I like maybe it's hard though, isn't it? It's hard because it's hard to cut like that, isn't it? But you know, I think the wizard is just so good, so good when you've got like essentially an edge six guy. It's it's crazy. Isn't it? it's, it's crazy good. Yeah. So the question I'd have asked myself, Jim, pre-game, is that rookie Lino going to make a massive difference in the big scheme of things? <laughs> yeah, it's an extra body, um, but is he going to be instrumental in me winning this game, as opposed to having a wizard with a bunch of edgy five on the pitch? Yeah, I mean he is two babes as well, right? So he could make a, he could be like three players difference, you know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, um... and uh, the orcs have the skills, but not that many. I don't like to hold the ball more or less unprotected right now, yeah. and he's still doing uh, blocks. Yeah, it's. Uh... It's not a lot of protection for the ball. I don't know how he's going to stop the Skaven putting in a lot of pressure next turn. Uh, not the best turn I've ever seen from Crimson Eek. But in, if he had a wizard here, the Skaven, he, he almost just wins next turn. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Maybe without us actually seeing the inducements, uh, we, to be honest, we went on a bit of a time warp, didn't we? So we would have, should have probably paid a bit more attention <laughs> <laughs> to these teams. The Orcs only have three Blitzers? <clears throat> and... No, 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 okay, okay, they have the other four. There is one uh, Blitzer here in between the Black Ops. Ah, yeah. They just cut all the line. Yeah, yeah. It's... Um, I mean... I'll tell you what I will do. While, um, obviously, while you got the game on, I will just dip into Blood Bowl 2 myself. And I'll see if there are any key players missing from Skaven and Orc teams, just to give us a bit of insight. I would imagine if he's running with three blitzes, one's either uh, dead or MNG'd, isn't it? So. Four, four, four blitzes. There is one on the ground with the the, the bomber. The oh, four, is it four, is it? Two of them, yeah. Yeah. Here, cut. So it is. Here we go. I've got the, I've got the teams on. Uh, the teams are on. Spike or the eight, which is rather good. Oh. So, shockingly bad, <clears throat> or at full strength, I believe, at 1660. And gold tooth marauders are 1720. They've got a goblin miss next. <laughs> 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 They've got a goblin miss next game. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so that's weird, isn't it? If you do the exclamation point playoffs, they're spoilers. 
It's spoilers, but you can see the uh, the cup drawn who's through, though it's not correct because one of the games, the Elliot game, was a concede because of, you know, uh, inducement confusion. <coughs> Has anyone checked up on Elliot today to make sure he's all right? Because that was a roller coaster, wasn't it? <laughs> it was, yeah. I, I popped in to, to drop the play now on him, and he said, Yeah, yeah, I'll play. I'd rather play last night, though. <laughs> yeah, he was he was adrenalized up to the eyeballs, wasn't he, after that game? Because that, it was an incredible game as well, you know. It was, it was incredible. Yeah, I, th I think I'll just let him win. It'd be mean to be mean to spoil it for him after he's played 122 games, wouldn't it? I've decided. I've decided. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him win. <laughs> I don't believe you, Jim. No, definitely that's what it is. It's not just an excuse in case I lose. <laughs> definitely not that. <laughs> No, of course, of course, I'm going to try my hardest, but uh, it's going to be it's going to be difficult for sure. I wonder if he's... I don't know what he does here. Like he can't. To be fair, although it's like not great for the orcs, he, he can't jam in between the cage and the front, can he? So it's it's not a great shape from the from the orcs, but I guess it's good enough. I think that was probably more luck than judgment, Jim, that he's only <laughs> left two spaces between two banks of orcs. Maybe. I can't imagine he deliberately did that. Um, you know, maybe I'm being a pr I'm paying Crimson Eek a bit of a disservice here, but <laughs> yeah, if I had to put my fiver on it, I'd put it on luck than judgment. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Does it, does he hit the gutter? He might do. It's tackle palm. I think you do. I think you just hit the hit. The yeah, thing, all day. Yeah. So the the storm vermin is pretty tied, isn't it? You you got to deal with the gutter runners, haven't you? They they have to be a priority. Yeah. And you've got plenty of like you've got a big six man cage up here. Not a yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah. I'll read that on ready. Oh, is he gonna hand off to the blitzer? No, he, well, he's gonna is he gonna venger bus it? I guess. Yeah, the handoff would have been a really bad idea, bearing in mind that one of those gutter runners has strip ball. Yeah, I just <laughs> he was just in the cage though, and I was like, well, why yeah, is he in the yeah. cage? I was bamboozled. Yeah. Alright guys, so throw us the ball. <laughs> so throw with all the skills in the world. So tight cage is alright here, isn't it? In the absence of a wizard, a tight cage is fine. Yeah. Yes, it's perfectly fine. I would still like more about it just in case they do get in and then you know you've you've got like a bit of a bit of cover against like, you know, if they wrestle you and stuff. But um yeah, I mean this isn't easy to get in. Well it is easy to get in with guard. <laughs> Of course, it's easy to get in with a guard. <laughs> um, but yeah, with the two guard at the back, so you could only go in from the front. Yeah. It's not easy, is it? Didn't kill the gutter. That time. Hello, Chigant. Do you, you actually try to break into the cage now, or just blitz the black orc, uh, block guard black orc with the... All right, okay, exactly what is happening. <laughs> and one in nine, big mistake. Yeah. Don't you still have Roland at one in nine there? Yeah, foolish mistake rolling a one in nine. How oh, often is now? Yes, I mean he couldn't worry about that Orlinsis, yeah. But some people don't do it. Some people, some people go for the Canadian gambit. Of, uh, <laughs> Canadian defense. 
politely <laughs> move out of your opponent's yeah. way. Yeah. I'm in your way. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> 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 I mean, the the scaling happened no hurry, so the beginning, the the one turner is so many AG five pieces. Oof. Apple. Oof. He's got he's Apple. got to apple. He's just got to yes. apple. Yes. There is no other choice. Apple it. Yeah. You know, the one turner is nearly guaranteed with that the monstrosity is uh, with AG six. Yeah. And there is not that much stand firm on the orc team. There is. Two pieces? Yeah. Why build a plus strength throw of accurate? Accurate? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Who's to say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> not what I would do, but yes, who can say if it's right or wrong? No, I think it's terrible. Like, that's I think, so yes, weird. I think there is tackle, frenzy. I don't know, so many other skills that will be much more helpful for a for a thrower. Yeah. I understand that some people like taking accurate. But if but not after the strength, right? You know, I, some people will take accurate first skill or second skill and okay, it's not what I do, but fair fine. But not after plus strength, like you've got a you know, you've now you've got a plus strength line right, haven't you? Fuck the fuck the show hands and the pass on him. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean when they get the strength four, they stop being a, you know, thrower. Mm. It's like, nah, that's it. It's just a blitzer, a strength for a blitzer with a sure hand. Yeah. I would like. Do you know what I would maybe like? I would just think it would just be the he's your anti he's your anti dancer player, isn't he, with the sure hands? But like then, which is nice. So you could give him something like to to, to help on that kind of side of it. But I think yeah, probably just tackle. He hasn't got that much tackle, has he? Overall, couple couple of tacklers. <coughs> Frenzy. I mean, Frenzy really doesn't help him. He's a carrier, I guess. You could do the ever boring kickoff return, but I mean, that kind of helps with the one turn, but even then, you're probably doing the one turn with the other arch fiver. ST again. Nah, no, I just roll a double for Mighty Bow. Then another one for Claw. Then another one for Piling On. Then you've got the best, the best thrower ever, haven't you? Yeah, tackle, kick, yeah. I wouldn't hate kick off return, but then, yeah, it's a bit unnecessary. I've got all these things. Never really seen the point in escape from throws, to be honest. Yeah. Even leader would have been uh, better than having yeah, a Yeah, I guess leader, but, you know, building a player for a throwing game is a really, really stupid idea anyway, even if you're Skaven. Um, and Skaven throws are almost missed so bad as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it's funny, they're like, they're really good players, it's just that they're on a team with four fucking gutter runners. <laughs> That's yeah. the thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, they all exist to pick up the ball and hand off. Mm. So you don't have to invest a gutter runner in pick up, uh, picking up the ball uh, from the floor. But the thing is, the gut run is probably better at it, right? That, like, that's the thing. <laughs> oh, because you're picking the ball with sure hands, it's your one in nine, that you four is one in six. Yeah, but you've got a reroll. Like, that's yeah, the thing, but... isn't it? The team reroll makes it. Yeah, but. Uh... <laughs> it's controversial because, you, you know, you, you're likely to make a two plus pickup and a two plus pass with a gutter. Whereas with a thrower, that could be a three plus pickup and, like, a four plus pass. So, okay, you've got skill rerolls, but it's like, it's kind of hard capping your percentage chance, isn't it? Is the thing. So, it would depend on the rest of the dice, which would be better. Yeah, I like the dancer protection. I like the dancer protection with the, with the uh, with like you know even with the strength three one right. I, I I do quite like I quite like it for that, and it's a good player. Like you would you would take it on most teams, but you would take an, a gutter runner on every single team. <laughs> yeah, there isn't one yeah. single team you wouldn't take at least one gutter runner on.
Yeah, Dev, yeah, that's not such a bad idea. The one yeah. turn here is going to be pretty hard, isn't it? Because um, Crimson Eek does have two stand firm players. Yep. And he, he yeah, knows he's got a set up against it. <laughs> yeah. And now it's another got the runner exposed for <clears throat> particular reason. Yeah. You know the street ball wrestle tackle uh, one. Yeah, I think I think you. Or you could go for the edge five one over here. Uh, the edge five one would be rowdier, but a, a higher value target for sure. Yeah, it's just a GFI. So you could yeah. go for that one, like I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want to, but you could, and it might be better because he, you know, already he hasn't got the wizard, has he? So it's, it's already not what? threatening anymore. Okay, so why has Crimson pushed this black orc alone, right up near before the activating end zone. the troll? Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah, that that's silly because now that player is just high and dry. Yeah. Um, he's got, he's got all the time in the world. He's deep in his opponent's half. You know, he doesn't need to move the ball carrier for the next two free turns. No, no that was <clears> just fo bizarre. just focus on yeah, just focus on blatting out these gutter runners. <laughs> Go for the tackle, uh, uh, the ball wrestle because he's the one that's going to try to uh, yeah get into the cage. So yeah. for yeah. An, uh, for your offensive drive, it's better to kill that uh, gutter. But for your defensive drive, obviously the ag fives are the you should start it. Yeah. But like, I wouldn't have run that black orc down the field. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the, he has a friend in the crowd, you know, and wants to see him. Because yeah. you, 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 you could wait, like, the yeah, you could just see what, what your troll does. Like, it's so bad moving that first. You see what your troll does, and then, like, you could stay around here, and that, but the thing is, you don't have to GFID and hit with him, but I would rather hit, I would rather hit this. I guess now he's definitely not going for it. I would, I would definitely rather hit the edge five person. Giving up his gobbo for a hit here. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you've got to hit that tackler now, like just so he doesn't hit your gobbo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe you've just got to hit him. I, I mean, I guess he is. There's nowhere else left to go now. I guess you could hit the hit the storm vermin. Oh, oh he's you doing can it. He's doing it. He's on, on for the big target. Yeah. Pro works. Fucking pro, honestly. Awesome <laughs> skill, fantastic skill, good choice. <laughs> pro Said no one ever. <laughs> I, I think it's the vampires. I think it's much better than people give the, the credit to it. Yeah, if, mean, if you like, if you like reading things, then yeah. Exactly. So if you like reading stuff, you know, it's like right. Mm. Also, there is what other skill you give that the uh, player there? Maybe Juggernaut or Frenzy or I don't know. Guard. Wouldn't mind. Guard, Frenzy, Juggernaut. Mm. <laughs> Pro's good yeah, in that you can like if you get jump up, it makes the jump up better, and if you get Dauntless, it makes the Dauntless better. So like, it's not terrible, but I just wouldn't take it that early and I would I would want jump up or Dauntless first so like yeah god I'm so tired sorry Caster's opinion on 2020 pro if I'm honest I haven't um pro does never doesn't concern me anyway so I'm not really aware of any change to it in the 2020 edition Jim will be yeah it works in a three plus now and you can only re-roll one dice so Makes it, uh, I think my opinion better for uh, greedy in a... Um, yes, you, you get... Sorry, you, you can you can greed reroll blocks without any danger of duck sculling, which is nice. And you can also it's really good for uphill blocks, right? Really good for uphill blocks. Particularly Amazing, and it's quite good with brawler, but I don't know if you'd ever take brawler and pro. Maybe on like things like ogres or something potentially. It's interesting.
This game is interesting. I'm just so tired. Yeah, it's been a it's been a hectic few days, Jim. To be fair, oh, he's going in. Oh wow. Yeah, I went to bed at half four and got up at half nine, so I'm pretty, Oof. I'm pretty bushed. He's going in. <clears throat> He's going in. He's failed. Did yeah. he just forget to blitz? No, he, no, yeah, the blitz, no, the blitz was on, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, who are we to say whether that was a good or bad choice? Yeah, uh, we can definitely say that was terrible. Look what you're standing yeah. next to, yeah, and he doesn't have sidestep, and this is his best player, and he's going—he's just begged for him to be served. That is—I mean, I don't want to say it's insanity, but it's absolute fucking insanity, isn't it? Like, there's no pressure on Eek to not take this surf either. It's just bonkers. It's absolute bonkers. The only concern is he probably wants to, yeah, blitz to make. No, no, no. Oh. It would have been the next one. I would have made this block yeah. on three, and then I would have blitzed the next one to make it three dice then. Still surfable, but. I, do you know what? I wouldn't have even taken that blitz there. I'd have used the throw to free DM across into a surf position. Yeah, even, yeah. Even, you know, I, I would have blocked with it, but because now you've only got a two D, right? That's the thing. Yeah. Just, just real bad. You block with it. You block with the throw, and then you blitz because it's one, two, three, four. It would have been a GFI, but I still think. Out. Mm, yeah, yeah. It didn't activate the troll first. I still think it's worth a GFI or something or whatever. I don't know. I want it. Like it's it, that that was my problem. It not being three D there. But so I would want to try to fix that being three D. Very good, Oriolensis. Very good. This idiot Blackhawk can run back anyway. It's all right. This absolute fucking lunatic black orc. Can be like, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'll come home now. Well, this game is really uh, a representation of after the Lord Mayor's show from <laughs> a couple of days. <laughs> this is uh, how not to play optimal blood bowl. Oh, okay. He's put. He's, he's taken that guy away to activate him. Lots of chaos for the rat, but no real damage because they have two babes. So yeah. The escape in Saramorola is very chill. <laughs> he just keeps going forward. He's like, is he just gonna leave this black hole here? No, he is gonna. He is gonna move him back a little, at least a little bit. Yeah, I mean the orc can't foul, can they? Like, obviously they'd love to foul this guy. He's so insane, but you just, you yes. just can't even foul him. But they don't have the team able to do that. Mm. Well, Malalanus did take. See, I knew I shouldn't have said that name. Mm -hmm. uh, did take a couple of babes. So. Do, do you know what I'm surprised? You've got a claw pommer here. You've got a guy with tackle mighty here. And you had a troll there that you could have tagged him. I don't understand why you didn't tag him. Yeah, you shut that player down, don't you? Either with a black orc. Or with the troll. Ideally with the troll. <laughs> oh, <real answers. laughs> yeah, well, that would be good, wouldn't it? Oh. Uh, they were they were one of the, no, yeah, all right, good point. No, ben, the the optimal blood bowl was two days ago, not one day ago. Mm -hmm. There was nothing optimal about what Eliob was doing yesterday, but by God was it entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> And most of it was pretty bloody optimal, wasn't it? It was just, it was just when he got excited about leveling his guy and he started. I'll just yeah, no. <laughs> and there was a lot going on as well. You know, the, you know, uh, Elliot's a great player, and and he did largely play great yesterday. 
Yeah. One of the best in uh, qualifying uh, for uh, the cam like a million times. Every single team. <laughs> yeah, basically a million times. Oh, the hand brain session was incredible. I was I was sad to have not been asked for it because it was it was great to watch. <clears throat> Just realised that um, Blodge Blitzer is niggled. Yeah, yeah. I I also just noticed that at the exact same time because it was the first yeah. time it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this this game is edgy as seat stuff, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the hand brain's really great. It's like playing Blood Bowl without playing Blood Bowl. It's like the best thing. Yeah. Ever. This evening's game sponsored by Night Nurse, guaranteed to put you to sleep. <laughs> oh, dude. It's, so, it's, uh, it's bad because, like, it is interesting. I wonder if you might follow the goblin, right? Because the goblin's basically useless. So I guess he's your only expendable player. And, like, what if you cast this gutter runner? What if you do? Oh. Yeah. The payoff is massive. So, yeah, you absolutely set up a free man foul on that gutter right now you could think about it for sure i don't know if it's i don't know if it's right or not we'll have to see what happens if he fouls <laughs> if he kills him it was a great foul <laughs> yeah it does it's tempting isn't it because like you've got but then your goblin is still numbers i, oh, I don't know but he's just too good isn't he it's 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 very interesting choice i think it's not costing you much movement wise is it you still got another turn after this nothing really in front of yep. you I wouldn't. I wouldn't hate to see it. I think you'll find, Jim, that fouling is always right. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah, it looks like he is going for this. I like doing the blitz first on that lineman because then, if you power, you can also assist with him, right? So be... Yep. Whereas now you can't. Blitz with him as easily because he'll face your cage. Which versus a mad ass rat coach might not be the wisest decision. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm most excited about what this random Blackhawk deep in the field is going to do. Yeah! <laughs> waiting, he's waiting for his moment. He's waiting for his moment. <laughs> he's biding his time there, you know, getting ready, reading the, reading the pitch. <laughs> oh, oh, he's gone right up to help the troll. It's funny because I thought he would be the one to, to tag this guy. He is 3 SPP from leveling. I thought he would have stood in front of this line rat to stop this line rat doing anything, but he didn't bother. No follow up, no balls, no <laughs> pile on. Yeah, and it absolutely is 3 SPP. Yeah, so that was, that was his plan, I guess, was to run it up and then hand off to it. Which is a bit rowdy against the wrestle tackle. Strip is I mean wrestle strips. Here we go. What do we get? Oh, I love that foul. <laughs> yeah, Falling he's got to is up. always right. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to up all that. Yeah. Well, yes, beautiful uh, foul. I would have done exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it was. It was. It was so. It was. i um, even for me. That was a really tempting foul. And you know I am, I am definitely once bitten, twice shy in, in Blood Bowl Two when it comes to fouling. I'm, I don't know. I just it's weird because I used to foul a fair bit. I would, uh, maybe I wouldn't have done it just because he has two babes and I still have the app. Also, how their chances of working properly? Not many. Yeah, there's no there's no fireball or relances. Oriel and sis, 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 sis. The, uh, the, there is only 60 TV difference between these two teams. <laughs> so Malala Noose has put in 40 <coughs> for the uh, bib. 40 for the second bib. There's only 60 difference. Which is kind of crazy, isn't it? You'd kind of think there'd be more. 
Yeah, I guess that's why I tried to make it happen with the, uh, the assist. I guess a fair amount, Stardike. I guess a fair amount. That was a pretty big foul, wasn't it? Because now, I mean, okay, not that big because he's he's back. But it's, so it's really just the apple's gone, and it also guarantees the gap, the rat being there for the one turn attempt. But so actually, probably not. They probably didn't change the odds that much with the apple working. If the apple hadn't worked, then uh, then it. Oh no! It would be absolutely massive. Yeah. But yeah, the. Still everything any but now that you don't have the apple, the skivens, you know, mm -hmm. decide for another course of action, no more pressure. <laughs> See One later, minute fifty guys. seconds to uh do the right thing and run away. <laughs> yep. I mean it's turn six. It's gonna be turn seven for the orcs. You don't have the players left. Why do you expect to achieve? Yeah, there's something he said for just ridiculously efficient teams. That's why I'll be like uh, Gadenik's Necro team this season. But uh, it is missing stats on those Wolves. The Wolves are really kind of unexciting. So, <coughs> Will it be a Chalice winner? Who knows? Is he going to hand off to this Black Oak now? He might. <laughs> Why not? Why not? You got yeah. you got a bunch of you got Agi four um, sure hands to recover if this does fail. Yeah. I mean, I can think of a few reasons to not hand off to the Black Orc, but in turn seven, you know, but yeah, what could go wrong? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you're still, you're really, 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 really likely to go still. Like, there's no real play on the ball. So you're 75% to make that, and then if you fail, you're still like 97 to make the one after. So it's it's ridiculously lucky if you were. Uh, yeah, if you fail. I got no, I got no problem with it, and that's exactly what you're setting up for as well. Yeah. <clears throat> is black orc but will it matter because he might be out it's gonna be a huge one turn attempt yes Try to dodge that kicker just in case. Yeah, they've got no, no real play on the ball, have they? Four, three. But there are, but there are two skevens. Uh, then one of them has guard, and the other is the bomber. Aren't they? You know, little. Yes. I don't know. No, 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 no. It's just a. Uh... Yeah, I think you just run away. I mean, it's four, yeah. three, five. Up. Nah, nah, nah. Spoiler, spoiler. No, I was thinking about making a hit on that, on the bomber. Yeah. But then you're just getting pawned back, isn't it? So it's not worth it. Yeah, not worth it at all. Either leave them on the floor, well, leaving them on the floor is fine yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. If, if you had a mighty blow hit on him, maybe. Yeah. Good evening, vote for go. So now he will score on the Blackhawk, promoted to a go runner. Pretty good. <laughs> God, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I'm so tired, it's ridiculous. All back? No, only three. Oh, the, the thrower is the one away. Oh. No little risk. We will see the pick up Hano with Agatha. Yes, we've still got 11. 
Now time to set up the defense with it. I mean, it's gonna be rough with the pushes because there is a you know a lot of guard there uh, and uh, strength. You have to hit the black orc, and the black orc is around that guard. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be an uphill, isn't it? It's going to be an uphill to start this off. Red dice. Light a candle to Chanter. <laughs> Hmm. Boy, howdy. I thought I thought having a cup of tea would wake me up, and I've just hey, well. just crashed harder. <laughs> That's a little more. We are halfway through. So he's, what? Maybe he powers the uh, if he powers the stand firmer because he probably has to, so that he can blitz this guy in two D. Or is he going to fill these and oh, is he going to fill everything and then and then blitz? But he hasn't got frenzy, has he? No, he doesn't. So that doesn't work without frenzy. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, no, it doesn't work without frenzy. Oh, well, not even frenzy. Frenzy anyway. He'd need frenzy here, wouldn't he? No, he'd need frenzy there. To move, push him to squares. You need a frenzy. Because it's the only way to put him in the LOS. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, no, he's he's doing something. Ah, using the using the downless could give him the one dice the black or yeah yeah and then, so he needs a power the first and then yeah yes he needs to power the blitzer And if he powers the village, do you stand firm or do you don't stand firm? Doesn't matter. He wants he blitzes from here, so so he he just has to power, him. and then he'll blitz in on. It looks like he's not blitzing with the correct. Surely he'll make it the dauntless blitz. Does he have dauntless? Yeah. Um, but if it doesn't work, that's two, three, four, five. It's a one D if it doesn't work, and a two D if it does. Or you could just blitz with strength three. That just seems stupid. So he has to pal, and then he can just go three, four, five. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, okay. He needs the guard. He needs the guard there. I don't know what he's doing. This is horrible. I think that's the piece that's uh, going to score. Yeah. So it's all wrong. It's it's all right. It's all kinds of bad. This is all kinds of bad. Here comes the kick because Mr. Throw has kick. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is a really bad one turn setup. Perfect defense and we can move to the second half. A Ooh. quick snap. <gasps> Redemption! Redemption! What a looker dog. But can he capitalize on it? That is the thing. Maybe not. I know where I'd put my fiver. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, he's just Ooh. gonna he's just gonna power this guy and blitz the blitz the thing, so it's, he should be able to do it now. But you never know. You never know. Oh wow, the bad kick as well. Five out of eight touchback. Yes, yeah, but he'd fucked it. So <laughs> this is definitely, this is definitely only solving problems for him <laughs> because he had absolutely fucked it with yeah, before the quick snap. And, uh, perfect defenses have been uh, a disaster more than once. Yeah. 
Yeah. That, that is true, but this came pre fucked. Yep, gets the touchback. Look a dog. Wow. Not punished for not having his edge five to collect. How the ball ended there if he has kick? Yeah, he must have gone really in for the corner. Because it, it can go... It, if On a six, it goes three, right? So he, yeah. he obviously aimed there and it went three. Whereas yes, but you get, in. you get two chances to uh, kick. You, know, you get to, uh, to between two. So must be a really, really bad luck uh, kick there. Yeah, he rolled a six, yeah. But I mean, all, he could have just he could have just aimed one in. So like he could have just aimed four away and then it's never a touchback. So he got a bit greedy. Hoped he wouldn't roll a six. Imagine not rolling a six. <laughs> so he got the knockdown. Good, but now he can... Uh, with whom he's going to blitz with the line rat. Because the line rat is in the way now. To push the black cork in the right direction. Yep. No, no one said he did it correctly. <laughs> no, nobody said he did it correctly. Now the orc put the tacklers in uh, nice spots. Like where are the tacklers? So he, he's got a one D, hasn't he, on the on the black orc, requiring a push. Yeah. yeah. Gets it. Look at dog. Oh. Wow. <clears throat> Look at dog. And now, yeah, it's the easy part. <laughs> Roll a million twos. Orcs did the right thing with a big gap, right? Because, uh, you know, he's at six. <laughs> so there's no point trying to go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I like it where, where he put the tackle, you know, with a glimmer of hope there, but it was like. <laughs> Maybe the tackler would use the black orc, the central uh, back of black orcs, because that's the, the squares he was used. Mm -hmm. You go straight up through the middle here, don't you? Past Mr. Fro, because you don't want to go past that tackler. Yep. <gasps> Roll the one. Roll too many ones. Oh, and nobody cried. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fate of escaping coaches when they fail uh, one turner. <laughs> nobody cries. <laughs> and now the escapings are the one on the back <gasps> foot. He, Look, failed. he usually, usually failed it twice. He failed the KR2 plus. Nice. Brutal. Yeah, I'd consider myself diced if I was if I was like if he'd scored and I was the Orcs I'd feel really really yeah, bad about that. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be that would be horrible if you're the Orc coach there and he'd scored on you. You'd be like, what an absolute joke. I'd get out my children's book uh, saying one turn touchdowns for beginners and I'd scream at the camera. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, that video. The chess video is absolutely <laughs> heavy. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yep. Not the best. Not the best. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go, Ed. What 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 do the rankings mean? Does, are you a is are you a, are you a? Uh... I know a little of the what it means the ELO the ELO, and two thousand is a lot. Like a lot, like that guy could go to your uh, local tournament and absolutely destroy every single person there in five minutes. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you know, we are talking uh, Elo 2000 is like saying that you have in Blood Bowl an 80% win rate. Are we talking Queen's Gambit, Anna Taylor Joy good? <laughs> yes. Okay, between uh, the Elo, between uh, 2000 and 2200, is an expert national candidate master. So it's like uh, a guy that can become a master, which is B. So, you know, the kind you, you have uh, the knowledge. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm looking at things like. Uh... CM and FM are on 2,200, 2,300. Uh, what's he called? Jelly's FM, so he's got the 2,300. 2,300. See, that's... Uh, that's uh, <laughs> really good. Yeah. Really, really good. Really, really good. <laughs> so I thought that when I saw that, I saw the yellow, I thought that the guy was uh, uh, shitting <laughs> on his own team, just yes. out of a spite. Yeah, yeah, just trolling, yeah. You know, I come here to lose because <laughs> chess players are very, very picky and I always hate each other and nge, 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 a lot of that. <laughs> there is a video of two grandmasters, you know, getting drunk, chin each other on the beach, absolute embarrassment. <laughs> It's funny though, isn't it? Because he plays like a mad baron in in, in blood ball a lot of the time, <laughs> and it just makes you wonder if he's just trolling half of the time or what. It's really weird. Maybe yeah, kicking two touchbacks. Yeah. Maybe that's he's drunk half of the time. Yeah, maybe that's a good point. Yeah, he could be drunk or on drugs. Or he could just not care and just do stupid things for a laugh. Who knows? He's certainly a bit of an, uh, an interesting character, isn't he? Some people just want to watch the world burn, don't they? And <laughs> yeah. it, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. No, and a high level chess player to be very weird people. <laughs> oh, but this rock's horrible, isn't it? Because he might he might give him a little little tickle with the uh, goblin lightning here. Bit of gobbo love coming up. Yeah, I think. Yep, I think that's definitely happening. The rat dacker. I'm not such a fan of the rat dacker because Ange three linos are absolute shit. But I guess rats are faster, aren't they? So I guess it's worse for them to push forwards against rats. And the only reason the linemen are kind of shit is if they get pushed up on. <laughs> Fair enough, Miles. I'm not sure losing at a board game is really akin to watching the world burn. <laughs> Fair enough, Kone. <laughs> oh, dear. Mr. Throw, massive gang foul, thanks to this rock. Is it going to remove the uh, storm vermin or the goblin? It's the storm burning. Do you go for this? The the the, the stand firm's in a really nice spot because this this side looks a bit weaker, doesn't it? So you want to go down it, but then he's got the stand firm there. But then you don't want to go the side that's got all the strength. <laughs> yeah, exactly, here, Dev. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he really does. Maybe, maybe he just, yeah, maybe he blitz it with the wrestle, but then. No, he's not. He's just going for it. Let's see what happens. Blend very bad. Maybe he just pushes up there. I mean, he's he has got. He has got. Line rats at the end of the day, they can't do elfy things. They, do, they just can't do elfy things, so he probably has to push it down the left here. 
He just probably has to. I, I'm not a fan of the. I mean, but it's not like a full deck, or is it? It's just one turn. It's just a just a one turn deck. I guess that's okay. Suck them in, and then just try to play a normal drive after after the first turn. So it's not it's not that bad actually. Yeah, maybe that's quite reasonable for like even humans to do. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Even more respect for the DACA now. Kadenik likes the DACA. I like that he likes the DACA because I like it. It's, it's a bit interesting, isn't it? It's a bit revolutionary, I think, even though some people claim that they've known about it for years and it's not it's not a big deal at all no no in the past was just running away moving your pieces randomly to the back without no plan just screaming <laughs> yeah. <laughs> suck them into following you players who invented it matt dakin no he didn't really did he i don't know but probably fucking shawnee because it's not, it's not really what Matt Dagger didn't really do it to get an advantage and win. He just did it to run away. So I don't know who did it to like get an advantage and win from it. Yeah, Matt Dagger did it because he was a massive pussy. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't doing it to like, wingman, to draw them in and go past them. You can be mine. Thanks very much, Dimmy G, the absolute legend. What a raid! Was that, was that a bit of tall war? Was it the gobbles? Let's go, champs. Grom the porch. <laughs> no, Volk. There's no chance Dave invented it. It had to be Fashbinder before him. Glorious. <laughs> that was also not invented by anybody. <laughs> No, Bernie Buffon perfected it though. <laughs> was the, oh my god, dude, I nearly died when he did that. That was the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bernie Buffon. There's a name. Holy shit. Maybe moving on. <laughs> Friend! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fair enough, fair enough then, there, Dave. Okay, so it did. So it is Dakas, okay. Because just it's just from what PC, maybe PC was more uh, was more damning just because he doesn't like him. I mean, thinking about not losing is like thinking about winning, to be fair, isn't it? Basically. Is that true, Fatty Mongoose? That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Volk. He also joined the exclusively Spanish league. Um, just for some reason, I don't really know why, but he, for some reason, he decided that he was fluent in Spanish despite being English, and thought he would just join this uh, league run by his fellow, uh, well, or involving his fellow CCL PS4 admin. He just randomly joined them. Despite not speaking a word of Spanish. Yeah, Funny that, isn't yeah. it? I don't know. Just he also randomly sense. didn't play another Spanish player on the PS4 CCL um, ever. Oh, yeah. Well, isn't that what a funny, what a funny coincidence? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, funny how that worked out. <laughs> this looks to be a gross overcommitment here. I'm not sure about this because I f I feel like it's better if like you base up some of the some of the line rats right so they can't they can't reposition whereas now the, the lot of the line, rat, line rats could reposition. Yeah, you got to limit. You know, you got to limit the movement of other players. The gut runners going to do what gut runners do, aren't they? Yeah. But you got to try to limit the movement of other players. Yeah, yeah. he could just he could just. Uh... He could, he's got a few options here. He's got, uh, this will be interesting to see what he thinks of doing. I think he's got a lot of options. I'll, I do like the DACA for that. Like, it gives you options and it, like, it, 
opens interesting things that just don't happen. Like, what's the chance of getting to this position from a normal driver, like a troll all the way back here and stuff like it? Like, well, the, all the way forward here. Like, it's pretty wild, isn't it? It makes us some kind of interesting positions, I think. I was about to say, does he re her here, or does he bust through that tackle mighty blow? Yeah, um, yeah, he could have easily just gone for the gone for the just the gutter blitz on that, couldn't he? On a two plus, yeah, it's a yeah. dauntless, then it's a one D, and then he just yep. needs a push, and even a boat down, he gets he just gets through with his gutters as well. But I mean, he, yeah, obviously he wants to stall out the half, doesn't he? So if he goes there, you'd imagine he's going to get pommed and and forced in. So it's natural to swing back, but he he had options. Oh, fighting mongoose. It seems like a long time ago, but it also seems like yesterday. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, amazing. And again, the fact that they were Spanish has got nothing to do with it, has it? It just is what it was. It just was what it was. But it was interesting that Bernie Buffon... <laughs> An Englishman <laughs> joined this group of Spanish people who were exclusively tabletop friends, and <laughs> that's why, <laughs> you know, it's, that's all it was. Oh. Like, in many ways, he was like the more damning part of the whole thing, wasn't he? The fact that he was involved in it. But he always had my back, apparently. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Italian, well, maybe, yeah. if they thought he was Buffon, right? <laughs> anyway, I like being unbanned, so uh, moving yeah. on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I had you back with a knife. Yeah. But this is the weakness of the light rats, isn't it? We are three pluses now to. Uh, Reposition is a bit shit. I will just say, if anyone ever thinks that I kiss Jim's ass too much, um, which I probably do, um, but there are reasons behind that. We've known each other a long time. We've always got on, and you were one of the loudest voices um, when this all went down. You know, you and there was a bunch of people really vocal about what was happening, but you and Artemis specifically really went to bat to the point where. They basically told you to shut the f up, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, or they did. You're yeah. gonna suck. You're gonna suck a ban, you know. <laughs> so, you know, you stay loyal to people that stay loyal to you. You know. Lovely fellow. Has. <laughs> Mazum, in, agreed. <laughs> a noble soul. I've been called a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking that as well, Tom Schnizzi. Yeah, I was like, come on, man. <laughs> Give us a clue, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Singolo and uh, Singolo and Sniperino just wrote a load of Russian at each other. <laughs> We've just got to guess when they're playing. <laughs> <laughs> So a single a single line of orcs right now doesn't seem like the best idea. No. No, it doesn't, does it? But he's got to keep the tackler back. Yeah. And he's got to keep somebody back to stop him getting marked out. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's just hard. And obviously you still want to do some damage. Tomorrow, okay. Okay. 9 UTC. Yeah, which time zone, yeah. Okay. It's quarterfinals, isn't it? There's only four games. There's only four games in the next in the next week. Yep. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Lower, it's lower, by this. Ah, yes, Google Translate. The classic. <laughs> Certainly a novel anti Daka defense. Yeah, maybe you should have gone for like the, you know, the saver, just hold the, uh, hold the center, right? Like, because then at least, 
you 1 nil up, you don't have to do anything, do you? So, so the argument goes that just holding, just holding is all right. Midnight UTC. But they're ahead. That doesn't make any sense. Oh my god. Wow. Or are they nine hours ahead? Well, that's crazy. Well, that's what you get for making a GFI like a massive tool bag. <laughs> yep. Don't make GFIs if you don't want you guys to die. 6 p.m. UTC, yeah, yeah, okay, that, that made more sense to me. But I mean, they could have been playing at 9 a.m., couldn't they? Smash down. And he's left this goblin here, uh, you know, bad ordering, you could say, couldn't you? If you were... Who are we to say if that was good or bad, Jim? <laughs> yeah, he'll be making more GFI now with that minus movement. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon, Jim. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I'll cast that. If, it's, if, it, if it is 6, 6 p.m. UTC, then yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's... Can't be done. Glorious. Yeah, 6 p.m.'s doable. Midnight really isn't, I'm afraid. Uh... I mean, I would have done it at midnight, but yeah, I just I just thought it was it was incorrect rather than uh, I would be unavailable. But it'd be great to have you guys in. You guys! Tomorrow at 6, 6 p.m., yes. Midnight. <laughs> as much as I'd love to cast games at midnight, unfortunately... With the amount of kids I've got, I do have to work quite extensively. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I started at midnight, I think I could last until 3 in the morning. Yeah. No, yeah, if it was midnight, I probably wouldn't either. 22 kids, yeah, you can have a full... No, uh, 26, you get, he's got subs as well for the, for the football match. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, a removal and a stun. Craig, pull a follower to get another 2D on the stun ferme. Yeah, that seems a bit weird to not because that let, then that would give you a chance of freeing. It. Maybe he's just going to dodge, but then if you dodge, then you've given him a chance to free the other. So it's a bit weird, isn't it? How many is how many McNaughton? <laughs> Marsum, fun fact: McNaughton is actually um, in a comment thread with my wife Wendy on Facebook. So they're actually Facebook friends now, which is not concerning at all. You know, I'm not worried <laughs> oh, about god. it in the slightest. Oh god, he's getting he's getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just PC popping down the door sit for a little bit. Yeah, I, I, as, you, as you can tell, I'm not fucking worried about it at all. <laughs> Calcium's laughter getting slightly more nervous. <laughs> 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 um, getting back to the game, yeah. is there an argument for Malanus scoring in the next couple of turns? Yeah, With maybe, all... maybe. I think I think that's you know you shouldn't be too concerned, right? At the end of the day, um, you have got the score right. You are behind, and uh, scoring and giving them a two turn or whatever is better than just not scoring and then losing, as I could have done against Cruz. Like I think. Against Cruz, you know, then, I, if I was 1-0 behind when I had the ball up there with the catcher, I think I would have just scored because I have to score, right? So, because I'm 1-0 behind. So, I think 1-0 behind, I think you have to score, and I think then, you then you you know, you, you roll the dice on if you can stop them or not. Whereas, I think if it was 0-0, I'd probably go and stall, and then if it fails, at least I've got overtime kind of thing. Yeah. say much, but I think there is a clear way to... Hit the one gutter and base the ball. Yes, right. yeah, yeah. There's a rather instant win. <laughs> there's just nothing, is there? There's just nothing. This gutter is just a sacrifice. Can't even make it 3D. Yeah. 
I mean, well, he can also hit. We can hit with either one, right? He, can prob he probably hits with this one, just so he's got the uh, the edge fall. Yeah, in fact, the edge fall should have been back anyway because it's edge fall. So yeah, it's already out of position there, falls. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's already too too far forward. Oh, look at that! Oof. Pro! Oh, pro again! Fucking pro, honestly. <laughs> 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 McNaughton's, um, um, some, McNaughton's last message to uh, Wendy was reminding Wendy about the time I decided to fight a garage door and it knocked me out. <laughs> and that is actually a true story. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I it with four staples in my head as well. <laughs> The last time I say to a garage door, you're not my mate, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Do you know what? I wonder if you should have gone for the 5 plus for the 2D. Like, it seems terrible. You know, because it kind of is. But, you know, it's, it's a little bit worrying, isn't it? These rats being so fast and you really not having much in their way. It would have certainly been rowdy. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, he follows. Guess it gets stand firm and more stuff. Yeah, it's pretty strong. I found it in the tree, but it's worth it to uh, to take out those three linemen, isn't it? He had to follow there, didn't he? Otherwise, that storm vermin would have been free to blitz off the palmer. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, this is uh, this is a little tricky. I mean, if the worst comes to the worst, he can go wherever he wants and twos. So it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> what could he do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then him, him. Do you just take the straight two plus two plus away from that pom tackler, and then hit the? Oh, where well, you don't? You, oh yeah. Christ! No, I like this. I like this. I think this is your best shot. He's, he's got Dauntless and Wrestle, so it's like you know, you've got a good chance of a two D. That wasn't the Dauntless. That was just that wasn't Wrestle. The only, oh, that, that wasn't the Dauntless. That was a straight there. Yeah, that was a straight one D, Jim. Yeah, one D. that's a two plus. But yeah, yeah, that was a bit rowdier. A bit rowdier than I was looking for. But yeah, I mean, what else does he have? Not much. You like you're looking at a straight three I'm, plus, aren't you? I wouldn't have hated the double dodge. I know it's against tackle, one in sixes, but I wouldn't have hated it. Mm. Do you now give the ball to the other uh, gutter runner at the other side of the pitch and just play to them? Oh, yeah. Problem with that is, problem with that is you've got a pretty centralised agi four mighty blow tackle blitzer, yeah, you, you, you can get out of range, though. You can GFI yeah. get out of range of him. I, yeah, I guess. I guess so. If you just dodged away from the tackle, and then yeah, dodged the, past this go goblin. Yeah. Well, dealt with the goblin, you could have dodged out, blitzed the yeah, goblin. Yeah, blitzed the goblin on one, but then you're only hitting him on one D. Yeah, there is that. But then it would. If you if you did that, then you could get this guy out on a three plus, which would be nice to get an extra yeah. player on. But I think that was kind of the safest that one D on him, and then. Yeah, he might just lob it to him and, and stall up there, you're right. And that will leave the Orcs with a three turn. And you have got the babes, right? So you'll probably get your men back. So it's interesting. Like, they haven't lost anyone yet, the rats. He's and going the up the left. He's going, up the left. He's going to screen off and go up the left, isn't he? Yeah, it looks like it from that. <clears throat> I mean, it's risky because he can he can go for the the dodges like three plus dodges and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty risky. Pretty risky. Maybe maybe he does just go for him. 
I'll lob it to him. I'll move him down, then I'll lob it to him. Oh yeah, okay. So he's that, still out of range. Like this. This. Yes, this is okay. So you've like got the screen and you've passed it to him. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, all right. I quite like that. Two plus two plus ridiculous, isn't it? Agi five, it's a wonderful drug, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah, and stand firm there. Probably better just dodging to be honest. So you might as well blitz one on your way to get downfield to Yeah. I think I've really seen the AG5. Uh, I would take, the, yeah, I'm I'm with you, Famir. I'd take a chance and blitz that AG5. You're going, you going in the, into the general direction anyway, so. He gets the power. And you've got to power him, that's the thing, isn't it, with sidestep? Yeah. I think you have to power him. But he got the power. <laughs> All right, and now you can uh, base, base the ball. But uh, still has enough movement. He yes. could. I think he'll just stand in the middle. Just centralize here. You don't. You don't want to double GFI here. So just centralize it. If he's probably a little bit GFI shy after the last attempt as well. <laughs> you can base with a goblin, can't you? I think. Yeah, yeah. Base with a gobble. Just punch this guy. Base with a gobble. So then the gobble is generating the pressure. You don't care if he fails the GFIs. Yeah. And then you've got this guy who can go either way afterwards. Yeah, I think that was right. He could have gone for a like, bit of a greedy surf there, but I think it was right to not. Tarfina line right that time. Yes, Tom Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> And now the <laughs> gets up the yeah, not the best ordering in the world. If I was hand and braining this with uh, Crimson Eek, I would have been saying Black Orc be four now, but never mind. <laughs> Well, I did say about the uh, turn 14 score, and we are going to see it, aren't we? So the Orcs are going to have the opportunity to win this in normal time. Yeah, probably yes. with that stun, yeah, almost certainly, I would say. Ah, uh, he's going to hit with a troll. The last action of the turn. <gasps> oh! Well, you don't reroll it. I wouldn't. Let it go! Let it go. It's a one in thirty-six, but it might, it might, you might, cause you go, might. But he did. And uh, so I mean, it only makes the opponent the uh, uh, one in thirty-six. Yeah, it's it's just the, it's the down goblin, right? That's that's a that's a part of the, <laughs> the equation there. You're already down yeah, to ten, then you could go down to nine if he gets cast. Armor seven, better than armor nine confirmed. Yeah. Now, do you try and do anything? You could surf. No, you can't. You just go. You can't. Are you? Or you could. He could one D and then come back, and he could come back. But I think maybe if you if you if your sidestepper there was still in the game, you could try and screen. But I think with uh, without him, it's too hard. So I'll even think about doing. So yeah, three turns for the Orcs. Oh my god, he's rolled another one. How unlucky has he been on these KO rolls? Those Ridiculous. babes have been absolute trash hookers. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I wish I could time you out so people could unhear that calcium. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. My mouth engaged before my brain a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I had Wolf of Wall Street in my head for some reason. <laughs> I don't. <yeah. laughs> 
That it was a Wolf Wolf of Wall Street reference. Honest. My God, he's rolled three ones. He's rolled three ones from this. That's so unlucky, isn't it? Unbelievable. Yeah. Kilsey, that's you're not a, helping. Three ones. <laughs> that's pretty great there. <laughs> yes. 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 All, right. All right. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. That's enough. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm quite glad they're called kegs now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're the reason they got changed, girls. <laughs> uh, another perma band. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> oh well, the quick snap helping out the uh, movement five orc there, so not bad. He is going to have to lob it, so it's not that bad. And he's he's edge four, isn't he? So it's uh... <clears throat> I don't like blocking on the LOS with the blitzers. I feel like you've got to commit all your blitzers to moving downfield. Yes. The problem is if they counter score you, so it's hard, isn't it? It is hard, because, but you you've got block. Like do you know what I mean? Like your black orcs have got blocks. So you just hit with them. Yeah, but that block, that blitzer has AG4. That's the kind of piece you want to be on range of score. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of insane to block with him, yeah. Like, that's what I mean. Like, if your Blackhawks didn't have block, then fair enough, block with your block players. There's an argument for, but but when when you've got block, Blackhawks, just punch me at Blackhawks and, uh, and you know, you use your Raj Fall for something other than just blocking on the LOS. Right, so I get blocking with your Agi for Mighty Blow, but then with two turns remaining, leaving him on the LOS seems Well, bad. the, the b completely bizarre thing is, of course, he hasn't hit with his Pommer. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's now, blitzed with somebody else. and Yeah, a rando Blackhawk. Now, blitzing with that Agi for and getting him in two or three squares upfield... Seems like a pretty good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, Bezel. You know, maybe he just maybe he just thinks, you know, he's, he wants to pull a Canadian offense here. Uh, sorry, sorry, I don't want to uh, score here. Really weird. I think he has uh, discovered it. Like, that's... Do you know what I mean? Like, if you... I just don't understand how you set up to block with your Raj 4 and not with your Pom. Like, if you're going to blitz with your Pom and block with your Raj 4, I still think that's worse, but I can understand it. <laughs> but if you're going to blitz with this guy, I guess it's because he didn't need an assist, so it gives him more field coverage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair bezel, fair. <laughs> Die on Hellboy skills. Though. I guess it was because the Blitz was then unassisted, so it gave him more things, but I still just don't understand these two not being swapped, right? Maybe the edge can go either way now, depending on... But he he's at max move without GFI, so it's like it's very risky and not moving forward on the first turn. But, I mean, he has got more options here. And he's got the when goblin as a handoff. Yeah. When you say risk, he's setting up for the throw teammate. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, actually. I actually like that as the as the alternative, right? In case... In case the well, now, he's, now he's spunked the Agi 4 up the wall. Um, <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I think the throw teammate is a pretty good option. <laughs> okay, in this stand firm, doing a lot of work. an alternative. It shouldn't be though, should it, Ed? It shouldn't be plan A. <laughs> but I think it's good having it in the prime throw teammate spot as a backup. Yeah, exactly, Wolfpack. Exactly you do, yeah. No, you now can't. this cave and go for to hit the bomber. 
the Rowdy one D on the um, Black Orb on the left hand side. Uh, it's a two D now, and gutters can flood through. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, that's. Do you just uh, blitz the uh, blitz the gobble? <laughs> oh, you can't because the guard, I guess. He can make this. A, he, can he? Can he? Has he got enough movement to make this a two D on the uh, ball carrier? Oh god, yeah, yeah, easily, easy two D on the ball. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, he can just take the ball. Yeah. Someone didn't uh, count the squares. Yep. Yep. So that's it, the IG5 uh, goes down. And now the Wrestle uh, down less, uh, <laughs> Fucking scaven. Comes down. La la la. La la la. Hello, pal. How you doing, mate? There's <laughs> a pal, obviously. That's a dead. Uh, oh, God. GG. GG, dead. <laughs> oh my god, not even dead. Wow. He's got the other edge five with blood step just come through and pick it up as well. Yeah, yeah. Like I like I like I like that more than getting on him, like I know obviously getting on the wrestle is enough. But also having it next to him is pretty good, and it's not many dice to get the edge five down as well, is it? I guess that's okay. Yeah, I guess it's okay because you're using your real you, one. Jim, do you just base that edge four now, or do you run the gutter deep? You you run in deep, don't you, in screen? Because yeah. then the edge four just can't. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just the more gutter runners you can put uh, down there, the worse it works. And this Lino at the end, right? This Lino could come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI GFI. You can even get the li the lineman here right at the end. Yeah. It's it's ridiculous, but but possible. Or do this one just fall three? This one. This is not the three turn I expected. No. But Crimson screwed here because he'd have to run his Aji back to blitz the ball. Then Mr. Fro recovers, um, and he's just going to get blitzed again, isn't he? Yep. Not even Rat BS. I mean, it is Rat BS. The movement nine. <laughs> try, try doing this with Dark Elves. <laughs> you will fail. And now things are looking very grim for the orc. Yeah, that's all she wrote. It was it was GG before that, wasn't it? But not over, it's not over. But this looks like a best case scenario for the orcs over time on a miracle roll. Yeah, kills it, but then you just make things harder. I mean, he shouldn't have been. He should have. But you know, he's got ten players and he wants to score in three. And you know, yes, he should have counted squares. But also, you know, when you've got a movement five carrier. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Bezel. When you've got a movement five carrier, it's makes things a bit trickier, doesn't it? The bottom line is he, he sorry sorry um Famer, he just didn't see that opening through the black hole, did he? Yeah, I don't think he did no. I think he thought he had to get his get his blitzer powered, which is like the obvious thing. Like if you're playing a, a real team, then then you think, Oh god, they can go through the blitzer. But obviously they don't even need to go through the blitzer, they just dodge past him because they're fucking scathing in the movement night, so Now what you do? Concede. Save yeah, what Elmin just said. CCL. <laughs> <laughs> Elmin, in my humble opinion, one of the best commentators that I've ever heard in my life. Glorious. Thanks, Wolf, for the I want to know when uh, Elmin's going to jump into the commentary booth 
and um, you know make me make my commentary look pretty measured. <laughs> he did the things. He did the things. The things didn't work. Are there two from the first round? I'm sure they were, they were done. Uh, I'm sure he did the things before giving himself a decent scoring threat. Oh, I guess he's got one on the left. Yep. Oh, fuck. Okay, no, it's alright. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'll send you some. I'll send you a link, Volk. <laughs> There you go, there's the first one. It's easier for me because I've like made them before, isn't it? <laughs> so it's in my kind of history. My kind of history? No, it's it's in my history. So I can I can find them easier. There you go, Volk. Could still see a 2-2 two -two after throw a teammate, yeah. Yeah, gotta bang out the goblin next turn if you can. That's a good point. What happened? There was a thrilling ball carrier dodge there. Ball, car uh, ball carrier blitz, wasn't there? Dodging by the tackler. I was just worried about finding videos on YouTube. Right now, you... Move the guard. Blitz with the down leg. And score. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's yeah. better score. than dodging. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was definitely better than dodging. Yeah, yeah he should have blitzed with him. Ah, noise wrestle, noise wrestle. Hmm. But hmm. he lose, yeah, but he lose the ball. There is still the IG5 to catch it up. I don't know. I don't know, but now we are going to see what everybody was waiting for. <laughs> the Goblin one turner. The plan is back on. Go for the Gobo one turn. And there you go. Gobo hero time. <laughs> the mighty Bloodweiser kegs doing their job. Yes. Thank you, Calcium. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Kick is rather wonderful against a uh, throw teammate. Yes. Enzo, indeed. Yeah, yeah, massive. Uh, the kick up return compensate for the kick, you know, it's a throw, has everything. Uh, no, not when it's deep and the thrower has no option but to throw the ball. Yeah, but he can scatter though, right? He's he's if he doesn't want to touch back, he goes here. So two of those scatters. There's basically like maybe even three. Maybe three yeah. out of eight that you've got a chance. Basically, basically you've got a chance three out of eight times <coughs> to have a chance. <laughs> it's not great, obviously. So like yeah, it has a big, big impact. Uh, he's not definitely gonna go this corner, mate. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's got the edge for there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now either corner, he's got a one in three. Yeah, but he's still basically got that anyway because, do you know what I mean? You, if he yes, goes there, if yes. it goes this way, you can't get it. If it goes one of these, like, five, you just can't get it. So you're only looking at if he aims here and it goes there, so it's going here or here, in which case he's still only one player because he'll go diagonally up. Um, and if it goes this way or this way, then you just go straight forward. And if it goes that way, so, oh, yeah, okay, so you could have somebody, like, here and here to get it if it goes that way. So there's actually four. There's actually four ways it could go. 
it's the it's these three and then it's also that one as well so the, yeah there's four so you've got a 50 50 chance to to have a chance use your pro guy use your pro guy over here I'm not a normal one Hey, oh. Good lad. Yeah, you, you've got to anticipate that it's getting aimed here, right? Because here is too risky. He's already done it a few times. Kick off return. We've got no idea where it's going. Let's just look oh at the ball. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can handle the motion. <laughs> okay, now we can see it. One, two, three. So maybe he goes here. No, oh god. So yeah, he goes here, so that he he fails the catch in the end zone. Yeah, yeah, it does right. You go here, and then hope you get the one in the eight, the one in eight, then the one in three. <gasps> oh! Jesus Christ! <laughs> he lost. He, he, he's potentially lost it because of the plus edge. <laughs> wow! <laughs> he rolled a three. He would have had a that three was... in eight chance. <laughs> I mean, only potentially, right? He only had a three in eight chance. But yeah. He would have only had a three and eight chance had he not caught it. But That's amazing. It is amazing. That was yeah. that was a uh, calling a play if I ever seen it. Nice <laughs> yeah. lord. <there. laughs> amazing, Mr. So now Thor. what you do? I just foul something. Foul the guard, Stormburn. Yeah, there is, there is no. Oh, th throw throw the goblin at the edge five two heads. There you go, yes. Revenge. Yes. Throw it this square, because you're more likely to throw land on an adjacent square. So so throw it here, you might hit the strength four or the edge five. Lob you lob your gobble at him and then and then foul the foul the guard. Come on, let's go. Yes, he's throwing the gobble, come on. Oh. 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 Is Kim Sonic in the chat here or something like that? He's listening. <laughs> yeah, he did move the he did move the bro, didn't he? I mean, he would have probably worked out anyway. Like it's not that hard, is it? You've got an edge four there, so you put the pro the other side. And then he did that, but he would have worked out anyway. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure he's just done the, the right things. Doesn't mean doesn't mean someone's listening if they do this. <laughs> Objectively correct moves, does it? Well, there you go. What a. I mean, it's it's not really objectively correct to throw the goblin at the edge five, but you might as well. <laughs> like you've got nothing else to do. Like some people think it's kind of BM or whatever to go for that sort of thing, but then you know your other option, your other option is not going for that, which is then unfair on like the other people in the semi-finals as well, isn't it? So it's like quarterfinals, so like it's. Six and two threes, and it is objectively hilarious. Nah, it's not BM, Perry. It's not. It's not BM, and it it would it it is definitely. It's absolutely hilarious. I will do that every single day. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, because e either way, you're either like, let's say, let's say you throw it and you kill him, then if you don't try and kill him, then then you're kind of screwing the seven people, aren't you? And if you don't foul, you're screwing the other seven people. Whereas if you do that, you might screw him. So it's it's it is absolutely six and two threes. Uh, but there you go. Congratulations, Malala Noose. Commiserations, Crimsonik. Thank you very much, Calcium and Fimea. Glorious to have you here as always. You're welcome. We're well, here. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.